On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the Curves Adjustment Layer to copy color grading from any image. I have three examples for you. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I love to color grade images and today I'm going to show you a really simple and easy way to copy color grading from any image. It could be a painting, a fashion image, anything that you want. Let me show you how. I have this image and I want to color grade it and make it look like this famous painting here. Take the color grade from here. The next example I have, I want to take the color grading from this fashion photograph. And lastly, I want to take the color grading from this fashion photograph. So I have these three images and we'll see what we can come up with. This is really simple to do. Let's get started. By the way, I did not come up with this technique on my own. I want to give a shout out to Pix and Perfect. It's a YouTube channel, a great channel that I really enjoy watching. And I've learned a lot from that channel. And I just wanted to give Unmesh Dinda a shout out today. To start off, I have a screenshot of this famous painting. I'll take the color grading from this image and apply it to the stock image I have of a model sitting in a chair. What I want to do is put this onto a layer on this image. So what we'll do is with your move tool, just click and drag and make sure your move tool is sitting on that tab. Bring it down to the center and release it. And that image is applied on the layer above the background image. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so we can really see this here. And I have the move tool so I can move this around. But what I need to do is find the highlights, midtones, and shadows of either one of these faces in the painting. To do that, I'm going to use my lasso tool. You can just type L to get your lasso tool and just find highlights, midtones, and shadows. So I'm going to use this top of this gentleman's head for the highlight right in this area and sample a decent size here. And what we need to do is average out the colors in here. To do that, just come up here to filter and click, uh, come into blur and find average. Click average and it will average that out. What I like to do next so I can remember where the spot is at, because sometimes it's hard to see is get my brush tool. I'm just going to type B for my brush tool with the, the default color of black. I'm just going to paint inside here. So I remember this. And then what I'll do is I'll just deselect this command or control D and I'm just going to call this H for highlights just so we remember. And now let me grab my lasso tool again. And now I need to find a midtone area. And I think right around this area, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to come back to filter. This time I don't have to go to blur and click average. I can just click average up here. And I'm going to get my brush tool again and mark off this spot so we can remember it. And this will be midtones. Command or control D. Let's give this an M for midtones. And now we need to find a shadow area. Lasso tool again. And right under here I think will be a good shadow area representation. Let's go ahead and average that out again. Get my brush and just mark off that area like so. And Command or Control D and we'll call this S for shadows. You don't have to do this marking step if you don't want to for shadows, midtones, and highlights. But I want to make sure in this video that you know exactly where I'm taking my samplings from. I'll go ahead and resize my image here. And let's get, let me go back to my move tool, V for the move tool, and move this out of the way a little bit. And I want to make sure you see all of our face. Okay, so here's my next step. Click on the background layer to make it active, and then grab a curves adjustment layer. Now, it's very important that the curves adjustment layer is sitting above the background layer and not, a, not above the painting. The next thing you have to do is right now you notice that the layer mask is active. Click on the curve icon because you don't want the layer mass active. That's a very important step and don't miss that one. Now with this curves adjustment layer, we're going to be working with these three eyedroppers. This first eyedropper is used to set a white point. The middle eyedropper is used to set a gray point on your image and the top eyedropper is used to set a black point on your image. But we're not going to be using it for that. We'll be using them to color grade our highlights, midtones, and shadows. We're going to start with highlights, but first off, make sure, as I said earlier, that you have this icon checked on and not the layer mask. Double click the highlights, and when you do, you get a color picker. And all you need to do 
is come to this averaged area for highlights and click right here and you see how that changes click ok now you're going to get a message that says save the new target colors as defaults click no because you don't want to do that because that'll stay in the memory of your curves and you don't want that so make sure you click no and then at that point what we need to do is find a highlight on our model and i say a highlight would be like right on our nose right here it's very very light right here click that and see how that color grades it to match this image for the highlights only so i've done the highlights now let me do the shadows let me double click on this shadow eyedropper and notice something here see where it says sample all layers that's very important make sure you have sample all layers checked right there very important because it has to read it off the layer above that and if you don't you're not you're going to get a false indication so now let's go to a shadow area which is right here so just click inside of here and that sets the point for the shadow click ok and again save new targets as default no and now we can find a shadow in our model and i say probably right around here will be the shadow try another spot now that didn't work maybe right there Okay, so there's our shadow. And basically what we're doing is mapping this shadow color to this shadow color of our image. Now we're going to do the mid-tone, so we're going to use this gray point eyedropper. So we're going to double click it. And let's go to our mid-tones, which are right here. We're going to click OK. And again, we're going to select No. We don't want to save that as a default. And now let's find a mid-tone. And I'm thinking maybe right around here. For the midtones, okay and i think that looks good so now if you, as you can see we've now pretty much matched the color grading of these two images now if you take a look at our curve you can see how the color channels have changed by using those different adjustments now the linear adjustment stayed just where it was for the rgb but here's the before color grading and here is the after color grading so it's matched up pretty well. And if you want to, you can add another curves adjustment above here. And then we can just try to uh, match the lighting to the two images. I just think I'll just uh, bring the midtones up a little bit and just make it a little bit lighter. And I think that looks pretty, pretty close. Let's shut off this layer. And now let me go ahead and resize the image. Okay, so here we go. Here is the before color grading. And here is the after. So we've taken the color from that painting and transferred it over to this image. Pretty cool stuff, right? Now let's go on to another example. I went ahead and put these layers into a group called painting. And let me collapse that group just so we can come back to it at the end and review. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Now let's open up our other example. So with my move tool, I'm just going to drag it, hold the left click down on my mouse and drag it over this tab and then pull it down into the center of the image and release the left click of the mouse. And then I'm going to get my um, transform tool and that is command or control T. And then I'm going to resize this image and let's move it into position where we can work from. And I think right there should be fine for now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so we can really see what we are doing. Then I'll just click on this check to accept the uh, transformation. And with my move tool, I'll just move this a little bit out of the way. Right here, I think is good. Now let me get my lasso tool. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna type L to get my lasso tool. And again, I need to find highlights, midtones, and shadows. I'm gonna go a little quicker this time. But uh, here's a highlight right here, right up in this area. Here's a highlight. Then go to the filter menu and click on average to average out that highlight. I'm not going to mark them this time so we can move quicker. I think we'll be able to see them much easier on this example. And now we're going to get a mid-tone, which would probably be right around this area right here. We'll go ahead and average that out. And now let's grab a shadow, which is going to be like this area down in here. And we'll average that out. Okay, I think I can see those now. Command or Control D to deselect. So there's my shadow, midtone, and my highlight. Next, I'll activate the painting layer because I want to put a layer above it. And let's go ahead and grab a curves adjustment. And that will sit right underneath the image that we're copying the color grading from. And remember, we don't want to have the mask selected we want to have the curve itself selected so make sure that icon is highlighted now let's start with highlights we'll double click highlights and we're going to sample the highlight right here click ok 
and we don't want to save the target color so we say no and let's find a highlight right on the nose here and it maps that color of highlight from this image to this image. Now let's do the midtone. So we'll double click on the gray point and let's find the midtone, which is right here. Click OK. No, we don't want to save target colors as defaults. And now let's find a midtone. And I think maybe right here. Yeah, right there is the midtone. And now let's do the shadows. So double click on the black point. And let's see, now we have to map the shadow. So click in the shadow area that we averaged right here. Click OK. And no, we don't want to save target colors as defaults. Now let's find the shadow, which is going to be right down in here. And that might be too much. Let me come right up in here. And you could sample around. Sometimes if it doesn't look right, like right there, it doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to come up here a little bit. Right there. And I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. Fill the screen up. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's select this layer with my move tool. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I think that matches up really well. I'm not going to add another curves adjustment above it. So let me go ahead and shut this off for now. Now here's our before and here is our after. And we color graded it to this image right here. Let's move on to our last example. Let's go ahead and select this image. So we're going to take the color grade from this image and move it on to the other image. With my move tool, we'll just grab it and take it over to the other image, drop it there. And let's just move it up into here. And let's go ahead and zoom in closer. I'm going to go ahead and grab my lasso tool, type L. Let's find the highlights. Um, I think right around here is a good representation of the highlights. Let's go ahead and average that out. So there's our highlights. Let's find our midtones, probably right around in here. We'll do that. We'll average that out. There's our midtones. And now let's do our shadows. I think our shadows can be right in this area, right here. We'll go ahead and average that one out. And now we have our shadows, our midtones, and, or I'm sorry, our shadows. Our highlights and our midtones are right here. Hopefully, I won't forget where they're at. Remind me, okay? I'm gonna go Command or Control D to get rid of that selection. Let me go ahead with my brush tool, B for brush tool, and with black paint. I'm just gonna circle around here so I remember. Because I might forget, and I'll just give it an M for midtone. Let's make the layer under here active. And we're going to go ahead and grab a curves adjustment. And now we can start sampling the different points. But remember, we have to not have the mask highlighted. I almost made that mistake. We have to click on the actual curve icon here or things will not work out properly. We need to be on this curve icon and not on the mask to be able to read the colors off of this image here. Let's start with the highlights. So we'll double click on the white point eyedropper and select the highlight color which is right here and click OK and we do not want to save the target colors as default so click no and now we're going to click a highlighter on our image which is going to be right here and that maps that. Now let's do the midtones. We're going to double click the gray point and find the midtone which is right here. Click OK and no. And here's a midtone, I believe, right around here. So there's our midtone. And last but not least, our shadow. So let's double click the black point and select our shadow color right here. Click OK. And we do not want to save the target color as a default. So click No. And now let's find the shadow, which is right around here. Or, no, that's too much, right? Sometimes you have to click around till you find the satisfactory spot. I think right there. Yeah, right there looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out so we can fit this to the screen. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let me get my move tool and let's move this out of the way. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So here is the before and here is the after. So it's looking pretty close. 
And of course, we can adjust the, uh, you know, add another curve and, and, you know, bring it more into line with this image. But I think it's pretty close. I think I'm just going to leave it there for now. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you give this a try. Uh, this is really easy to do. I wanted to do the three examples just to really cement this idea down so you know exactly how to do this. Now, here's the original image. Here was our first example from an old painting. So you can see it's a pretty nice match there. Here's our second example from a fashion photo. We copied the color grade there. And then our last example is this one. So it's a really effective way of taking a color grading from one image and transferring it over to another. That could be a painting, a photograph, anything that you want. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.